guys welcome back to my channel today I have a special video for you guys I'm gonna be sharing with you what I have in my gym bag I haven't really talked about this on my YouTube channel but if you follow me on Instagram and I'll post that somewhere here you probably already know that I've been going through a hip injury it started three weeks into the Long Beach half marathon training I wouldn't feel any pain when I was running but if I had a really long run I would feel the pain afterwards and it was painful to even like walk or anything it wasn't like super painful but I wasn't supposed to ha be having any pain so I let my coach know and we started cycling in and out of running I was doing a lot of power walking I was also going to the gym more often and doing cross training I've been doing other workouts to make up for not being able to run there's no other way to prepare to run 13.1 miles than to run but here we are so I've been hitting the gym more often I got myself a gym bag so I'm gonna show you what I carry with me because I go to the gym early in the morning I get ready over there and then I go to work so let's get started first of all let's look at this cute ass gym bag that I got at Marshall's for $15 and it's super big I really like the colors. I was gonna go with the black and pink, but I was like, you know what? Let me get something different. And I went with this one. It's super cute. It has the main big bag. It has the side zipper over here. It has the, this little thing here. And then it has another bag in the front. So this bag is ready for me to go to the gym tomorrow morning. So I'm just gonna pull out and show you what I have. Okay, so first off, I have a towel because like I mentioned, I get ready at the gym so I need my towel my change of clothes this is kind of funny because I have a bag in a bag which I mean if you're a girl you can relate I have my Lady Gaga on my free bitch bag which I got at her concert years ago this is where I carry all my purse stuff usually when you carry a purse you have your sunglasses you have your regular glasses if you're blind like me and sometimes need them I have my lip gloss my wallet my keys all that regular purse stuff now we're gonna get to the good stuff so of course i have to carry my belt with me because i don't want to be carrying my phone and getting distracted when i'm trying to get a good workout in also my aftershocks headphones best headphones i've ever had <laughs> here's another bag which is my makeup bag this makeup bag was given to me for free you can see it's like a what is it colgate it was like a promotion thing and they just gave it to me so I started using it as a makeup bag. Let me show you what I carry in my makeup bag. I feel like I carry a lot of stuff. I feel like I need everything. So of course I need my foundation. I need my beauty blender. I also need my powder with my brush and then I have other brushes. I have my eyelash curler, eye primer. I raw pencil for sure I need. I have my highlighter, my Chanel blush, more brushes, chapstick, I have eyebrow wax, and ah, did I drop that? And I have mascara. But let's not forget the Naked Heat palette. You can do like an everyday look with this palette. The colors are super nice. Guess what? I have another bag. It's plastic, so in case anything leaks, it's protected because it stays in there. Body wash. And then, of course, I have my shampoo. And I have my conditioner because you can't trust the shampoo or it's not even shampoo. Whatever liquid they have in that dispenser, you can't trust that because I have really long hair. It's in a bun right now, but my hair needs to be nicely cleaned and moisturized or it gets super crazy and tangled. Another thing that I carry that I freaking love is this oil and I got this oil it's um, oil for my hair in Mexico and I, the last time I went I got like five of them so I can have enough for like a lifetime <laughs> and I just use a tiny bit and I put it on after I shower and it just makes my hair super silky and super nice I seriously think this is what keeps my hair looking so bomb and healthy you know what I don't have in here which I forgot and I'm gonna get because I'm gonna need it is my face wash but I also have my face cleanser so I use my face wash I use this after and then I also have the moisturizer I also take my cotton pads with me so I can put on that I have some body lotion because you don't want to be crusty I carry my little perfume my mom got me for I think it was for my birthday 
last year. I also, of course, carry my deodorant because you don't want to be stinky after the gym. I carry my noon hydration tablets. I also have my brush and this brush is like a small brush that you can just pop in there and put away. I also carry my chunk glass <laughs> but I was wearing them so I forgot about it because it's not in my gym bag right now but don't forget to take your chunk glass because you don't want to get any fungus from the gym because you never know who's showering there. Last but not least I carry my lock of course you need to lock your shit so it doesn't get stolen. There you guys have it. That is what I carry inside my gym bag. I know it seems like a lot and it is a lot and my bag is super big. But you know what? Once you get down to it and you get used to going to a gym and carrying all that stuff and getting ready at the gym. Because it could be kind of like weird getting ready there. But just go prepare. When you go prepare, you're not scared to break a sweat. And if you're looking for a gym bag, I recommend going to Ross, Marshalls or any of those discounted source because that bag was only $15 it was super worth it it's super cute and I get to carry everything that I need without any hassle thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one bye guys they told me just